Baylor. We're getting those terminal degrees, those JDs, MD, PhDs. We also are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs, uh, along with Latina women in America. Pew Research uh, said that women are now out earning men out earning men yes. in 22 yes. of the largest cities in America, including where I live, New York, D.C., L.A., you name it. When we talk, and I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man, so I will not ask you to indict men in this question. You can't. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes, they're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? Mm. You. Would you date if a bus If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's, a problem. that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Because the it standards is. and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver if he was, if he loved driving the bus. Preach! If he was a man of integrity. Preach! If he was good to his mama. Preach! If he treated me well. Oh, I would date a bus driver. But we think that it's another human being's responsibility to give us what we need instead of us building together. I can build with a bus driver. I'd have my little stash over on the side in my prenup, but I could build with a bus driver. Mm. Mm, I need I needed that. I needed that this early morning. In today's society, the standards for men is so f high. And this goes into like cuz I'm married and I'm married to to a woman who is like Miss Independent. You feel what I'm saying? My wife is an entrepreneur. My wife is one of the top estheticians in Atlanta. I don't know if I ever said that before. It is very hard to date a woman that's an entrepreneur. Especially if she doesn't know how to turn it off. Now, I don't like to put the whole masculine and feminine energy on, on women. and I don't like doing that. You feel what I'm saying? And I support women being financially free. I don't have a problem with my wife having a business. I have a problem with the fact that she doesn't know how to turn that off. And she bring that energy back to the house. When she bring that energy back to the house, then it's like, yo... Come on, why are you so combative with me? This video is a perfect example of how we get hung up on titles. I, I, don't, I don't like the fact that women get so hung up on titles. There's a lot of good men out here that get passed up on because they don't meet your expectations. Which, to be honest with you, a lot of y'all, and don't, don't crucify me for this, ladies, but a, a lot of y'all expectations are unrealistic. You have unrealistic expectations. You feel me? And I feel as though the more... A woman accomplishes, the more unrealistic her expectations become. The lady right here, she's very successful. She's gorgeous too, but she's very successful. And I feel as though she will fall under the category of a woman that's hard to please. Tell me if I'm wrong. She'll fall under the category of a woman that's hard to please. She can do it for herself. She don't need a man. <laughs> so I think some of the criteria that we look for in the reality of today keeps us unhappy, keeps us angry, mm. keeps us in balance. And then when the men show up, we want to beat them up because they're not living up to our standards and criteria. And and it's not working, beloved. It's beloved? Just I just said that. So it's not that what? it's bad or wrong. It's obsolete. Mm. It's obsolete. Mm. We have to come up with a new way of being. I don't believe in carrying a man. A man has to do for himself. My son got his first job when he was nine. Mm. Nine. Okay? Because you're a black man. You will know how to take care of yourself. Yes, ma'am. But I think the way we measure it, it's, it's just obsolete. Mm. I think that's a factual analysis uh, for whatever we want, expect, we're told we were going to get.
we got to look at the numbers and what's available on the marketplace. So, so you're certainly not not wrong in the what? analysis. Uh, and and y'all, let's 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 tell the truth and shame the devil. We know what you got in that prenup. It would never be little. It'll never be small. <laughs> Child, that's a big old mound of assets. But uh, but that's okay. But that's okay. Uh, let's spend a little more time just so we're really clear in this conversation, uh, Doctor Von Zant. Difference between masculine energy and feminine energy, because I know that is not necessarily. I was just talking about that assigned right this is bigger than that this is big bigger than genitalia right right absolutely when we talk about man is mind woman is heart Heart. yes and so many of us have guarded broken um um closeted hearts Mm -hmm. that we do everything from here yes here you know as a woman that's been educated that like you said has a degree here will run out here will lie to you Mm. this will never lie to you Mm. but we've been taught not to trust this we've been taught not to trust our knowing our intuition Mm. but a man can yo i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i see why my wife be looking at ayana I see why my wife be looking at Ayana, y'all. Oh, my God. She speaking. She out here speaking. I say. I say she out here speaking, dog. Have a good idea and be brilliant, you know? So we want to have good ideas. But for us, our power is in knowing. And it's in getting that that intuition and moving on it. That our power is in what we feel, not necessarily emotion, but what we feel in our body. Mm -hmm. But so many of us are out of touch with our body. Mm -hmm. We'll give our body to somebody else before we really get in touch with it ourselves because we're so busy doing till we don't know how to be. When I talk about feminine energy again, I'm talking about the grace, the compassion, the humanity. I'm talking about mercy. I'm talking about silence, stillness. I'm talking about flow Mm. and movement. I'm talking about speaking Mm -hmm. from a place of intuitive knowing, love. Mm -hmm. I'm not and 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 that's not the masculine way. The masculine way is justice, structure, power. Yes. It's yes. control. Control, yes. Na- that's masculine. Feminine is dominion, not control. Mm. But most of us, many of us, mm. I'm in recovery, are control freaks. Yes. So Preach. She's a control. A yeah, put your fucking hand way, up. Put your hand up. You're a control like, freak too. Yeah, yeah. There's a yes. whole other yeah. vibe uh, that we can tap into, that we have to tap into, because the world is dying. This society, this system is coming down. And if we don't step into our power as women, we're going down with it. With the fall of the materialism and the collapse of the of the systems and the structures. We gotta how many women do you know with degrees could live outside and survive for three days? None. On the earth. None. How many do you know? No. <sighs> You know how much simple stuff I be having to do for my wife? Huh? You know how much simple stuff? You know how much simple things I be having to do for my wife? That I be having to sit here and and look at her and be like, Yo, you serious? With all that mouth you have, you can't do that? Hmm? We might be walking outside because, you know, we stay in the country. We live in Georgia. And a roach might run across the sidewalk. Oh, 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 RJ! RJ! Oh, it's a roach! But you come up in this house and, and be acting like you got damn John Gotti? It ain't even lighting. I might need a new one. It ain't even lighting. Lord. Yo, Ayana just... Mm. This is a great... This this is great. I needed this before I go to work. All right, y'all. <laughs> I needed this before I go to work, man. All right.
This is the video. Um, leave a comment. Tell me how you feel.